of all these governments that have been taken out, even if it's in, and especially if it's in Africa, I mean, why do we care? They're not our government. They're not, it's, it's not, we knowing who we are, the once lost but now found over here, recognizing our story. Why do we really, in other words, get this kind of a, almost like a visceral, what do they call it, visceral gut feeling? Why, why do we allow these things to trouble us? You know, seeing what we see in this particular year, in this particular day and time. My brothers and sisters, once again, greetings. This is um, Wendem Yadon reporting for the LOJ Society of His Imperial Majesty and broadcasting on this Ethiopian World Net channel on the YouTubes. And you can also um, join us on the Ethiopian World Net on the Facebook, you understand, and please do get involved in the in the discussion. Well, there's some discussions going on there too, but we want our and our community to really begin to focus because there's still ones, you know, bringing a whole bunch of diverse doctrine. You understand? But what's the first thing we want to touch on? I wanted to actually bring together um, a prophecy, and and we're probably gonna post a portion of us going into. Um, um, Ethiopia and Egypt in the Bible, part of the Ethiopia, Egypt in the Bible um, series, because this year, 2012, is very interesting, and it's, it's a prophecy still unfolding. Some say, well, with the reported death of the Ethiopian Archbishop, um, Paulos, or uh, Gebra Medin, so forth and so on, and, and four days later with um, Otto Melis, um, Melissa Zanawi, the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, um, both of them being reported dying and, and dead within four days of each other. Some have proposed and said, is this a conspiracy of, of man? In other words, is it, is it the men and people that are behind this, the so-called um, 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 the New World Order, I mean order? Or something like that, and and, and y'all got to We got to get out of saying that. You understand? Because we have to recognize that, you know, in a sense, we're cursing ourselves by by the ignorant misuse of word too. You understand? Because we 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 did this in the next vid, and we'll do it right here again because it it, it needs to be repeated and repeated again and again. You understand? Are we in a so-called new world order or what? People say the New World Order is already here. Let me tell you when the New World Order started. You understand? Right here. I'm, I mean, y'all seen this before. Come on, man. There's, there's, there's all these videos out there, and, they, and some of these cats out there go into in some detail. And many of you have seen these vids where they show you this, this um, um, the MC, what is it? What is it down here? It's, it's, it's the MDCCLXXVI. Uh, and they say that's 1776, and this whole um, um, Illuminati order out of Bavaria, and then in America, the subsidiary organization is known as Skull and Bones. And y'all seen all these videos, so you already understand that. And you understand that that what we see in September 11th is just a latter day sign, but the good thing is what was already going on now is more exposed with this media. And what they call some call the info wars, like Alex Jones and others, the info wars. But the half of the story that hasn't been told is the true teaching of His Imperial Majesty and His Christ. You understand? 1930, November 2nd, 1930. That is the acceptable year of Egeziavi Her Lotus That's the acceptable year of the Lord. And no doubt you recall when Christ was in the in the in the Mikurab or the synagogue of Nazareth, he, it, it, it was said that he, he opened up, let's, let's go here to the scripture since we're beginning off here. There's a couple of points that we'd like to touch on and share with you. And so what we'll do is, you know, try just to follow the spirit and go with the spirit on this because there's a few points and I was thinking about this before I started to record. I said, wow, there's a lot of floating different ideas based on what some have written to us or some have called I now, we've been reasoning, and even before this we were reasoning, so forth and so on. 